Scott Van Pelt's opinion piece on the Washington Redskins organizational demise is an effective example of broadcast writing for one reason. It speaks to the hearts and minds of Redskin fans everywhere. He does a great job of telling a story through the use of evocative language and chronological history. He paints a story of an organization that once was, using the analogy of comparing them to Sears department store. SVP left me, the fan base, feeling justified and vindicated in my feelings that range from anger to most recently indifference for my team's lack of success, unexplainable personnel moves, and continued front office chaos. Van Pelt was clear, concise, and very timely following a Week 17 embarrassment at home against our division rival. Why do I feel that this is a great piece of broadcast writing? Well, as I mentioned before, his message is clear and concise to his audience. And as a fan, he tugs on my emotions. I can feel the passion and lack of patience in his voice, and that resonates with me. Furthermore, I feel that his language is evocative and relatable. His reasoning is sound and justified through evidence that we all saw in Week 17 at Redskin Park. The bottom line is that SVP does a great job of articulating the thoughts of so many fans in a relatable and conversational way. One that leaves us all nodding our heads in agreement. Okay, now to discuss the top 10 qualities of broadcast writing as I see them. Number one, be clear and be concise. Don't use big words that the audience has no clue what you're talking about. Make sure you're using words that the audience clearly understands. Number two, write like you speak. Be you. Be authentic. Don't try to be Dan Patrick or talk like Al Michaels or Stephen A. Smith. Just be you. Number three, be conversational. Don't sound like a robot and sound like you're reading off of the teleprompter. Be natural. Be conversational. Write like you talk, like you're having a conversation with someone, but still be professional. Always be professional. Four, use proper grammar. I think this goes without saying, but there's nothing worse than using poor grammar because it makes you appear less credible to your audience. 5. Keep it simple. 8 to 12 words per sentence is enough. Don't combine thoughts. Use one idea per sentence. 6. Use a present and active voice. The idea is to be as timely and as relevant as possible, so mastering the present perfect and future progressive verb tenses, etc., creates the action that we're trying to convey to our viewers, as if it's currently happening or has just happened. 7. Tell an engaging story. Take the audience on a journey, captivate their attention, and engage them through the art of storytelling. 8. Use simple and evocative words. Keep it simple, but use words that evoke images or support the graphics you're using to tell your story. 9. Be factual. Do your research and make sure you're accurate. There's nothing that will kill your credibility quicker than getting your facts wrong. And finally, number 10, talk to your graphics. Images can be very powerful and do a lot of the talking for you. Your writing should complement your story's graphics, not detour and distract from them. These are the top 10 qualities of broadcast writing as I see them. Thanks for watching.